Good morning. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, BlackBerry Curve 8310 as a Bluetooth modem for your MacBook Pro. Um, one of the first things you want to do is go to the uh, network connections right there, manage, manage connections on your phone. Um, you're going to click on that and you're going to go to set up Bluetooth as shown right there. You click on that with the uh, scroller ball of course on all of these and you're just going to say cancel for now and uh, uh, should get to a screen right here with a list of devices. Right now I have nothing connected to this. Um, but if you hit the little menu key you can go to um, options. In options you should have a field called discoverable. Mine is at no right now. I'm going to be changing it to um, you guessed it, yes. Okay, so change that to yes so that uh, later when your computer is looking for it, it finds it. And as you hit the back button, save the changes. And you can just uh, stay in this um, menu for the rest of the setup here. Um, one of the, th the other first things you want to do is go to your system preferences and you're gonna go to Bluetooth make sure your Bluetooth um, is on and discoverable also so uh, that being said we'll go back to network we're going to add a Bluetooth DUN you can name this whatever you want. Um, say create. And then I'm going to show you a website um, that you also need to access. This uh, is the URL. Um, this comes with some. Uh, some kind of convoluted instructions on how to do the setup in case you uh, have no idea how to do this after watching this video. Um, what you need to do first is go to this section under install BlackBerry modem script. Uh, I'm going to click on that. It uh, put it in my downloads folder. Um, now if I open two finder windows here, I can go to the downloads, and there it is there. If I go to this, go to your Macintosh HD, go to library, go find modem scripts, um, probably looking right at it here, there it is, and just drag that into there. Um, I already have it in there, um, so I'll just say replace. So now that's in there. That uh, script needs to be in there. <laughs> um, then the other thing you need is for this network setup. Near the end of the uh, instru or actually not near the end, as you can see, I'm just really starting on this. I'm not sure actually what is all the way past here, mostly comments and questions. So near the end of the actual instruction section, uh, we have these three things for a AT&T phone. So we're going to copy the telephone number into here. We're going to copy this. into account name. We're going to copy singular1 as our password. 
apply. Then we're going to go to set up Bluetooth device. Now you can also access that same screen from this. Takes you here pretty much. We're going to go add new and since our uh, Bluetooth has been enabled for I'll minimize this um, for being discovered it finds it here. We're going to say continue. Now it's going to ask us to enter this numeric pass key. So I'm just going to enter it really quick. And click on the scroller ball. It says it's pairing. Then it asks accept connection. And of course, we're going to say don't ask again because we're going to be sick of clicking that. And yes. So now it should be coming up. You have to enter your administrator username and password. And then I'm going to advise you to just say, um, here you can, uh, you'll notice there's a little like uh, phone status up here. You can click on this and uh, it'll show up here and then when you need to connect to your Bluetooth you can access it right on the menu so I'm, I'm gonna leave that there this Bluetooth status I'm not too fond of so I'm gonna leave that unclicked and say continue it says yay congratulations you accept you you can access the internet so um, I'm gonna go back to network and here's this here, not connected. I'm going to say connect. You'll notice up here our status thinks it's going to be connecting. And then, of course, uh, it says disconnecting. And, oh no, we can't do anything. Um, what you do at this point is click advanced. Go to your vendor in uh, the modem tab here. And click other. BlackBerry 8300 will be the only um, will be the only option there. It's the uh, it's that script you put in there, I believe. And then you don't uh, click on anything else. Just say OK. And uh, now you should be able to connect. And of course, my connection is messing with my speakers there. And it's showing that I'm connected. So I'm going to exit out of this for a second and just try out the connection with my Wi Fi off here. And I'm not plugged into Ethernet. So here's my connection status here. You can have a couple options. Um, I'm going to come down and open up the internet again. We're going to go back, back. You can see it's a little bit slower than uh, obviously a high speed internet. Um, it isn't too slow. I mean, these are recently open pages. So um, that could be, here's one that I haven't opened up for a while. See how long that takes to come in. Really, uh, not too bad. Um, so uh, now it's uh, should have a flashing blue light on it, indicating that it's connected. Uh, you can have that in your pocket or wherever you want, and uh, access the internet from virtual any virtually anywhere. So uh, thanks for watching.